Okay, guys, let's go whoring. <laughs> oh, I couldn't keep a straight face while saying that. Let's go. Let's go hoeing. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, create a hoe. Oh, wait, we already got a hoe here. No, that's a stone axe. My bad. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm looking for holes, and what I'm getting is an axe. Okay, so we're going to have to create ourselves a stone hole, <laughs> stone cold hole, and we're going to go out and we're going to gather some seeds. So first, all you have to do is pull out your hole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep a straight face Ooh. doing this. But you go out and you pull out your hole and you just immediately just start tackling the grass. Just like, well, actually, you right click and you tackle the grass and just wait for a seed to come out. And this is all you do. You just hoe until you can't whore that motherfucker anymore. And eventually, once you keep doing this, you'll see the seeds pop out and you can plant it in the greenhouse. My little lovely greenhouse that I created. So I guess I'm going to uh, just go until I get a couple more seeds. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Can you imagine how long of a tedious process this is just to gather like, oh, wait, oh, there we go. Can you imagine doing this every day, just like gathering seeds every day? I'd rather take some of the like saplings off the tree. At least I get more of that. Come on. See, it's, it's easy to do this thing, but it's harder to know when to stop. Sometimes you just get so caught. Oh, wait, never mind. My hole is gone. But sometimes you get so caught up in, you know, just digging through this grass that you forget like, oh, wait, I have 64 seeds. I think I should stop. Now. So we're going to go ahead and put this, put these seeds in here. And I made this little wooden house. I, I just started on it. I was trying to make the chimney, but I ran out of stone. So I'm like, yeah, screw this. I'm going to work on this another day. But I kind of like the, the way things are going here. I need to put a door here. So anyways, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've created uh, my dirt. And I made sure there's water next to it. So hopefully the water will flow through all three blocks of the dirt. And that way I can get a easy growing so I'm gonna go ahead and dig up these parts of the dirt before they turn back into regular dirt and you gotta hurry too because it will turn back and I'm gonna pull out my seeds oh wait oh I pulled out my sapling darn it sorry pull out my seeds and I immediately start planting so I I, I want to assume that this darker part of the dirt means that the water is flowing through. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a wild guess and assume that. And I'm gonna put some seeds here. Yeah, yeah. And after that, you just play the waiting game. You just wait until you see your seeds grow. Oh dang it! See how quickly that turns. Come on. It's getting night time. Must hurry. Dang it, turn back into dirt. You dirty whore. Okay, you gotta do this quickly. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the last, uh... I don't think I'm gonna make it to the last row. But we'll do what we can. I have a feeling this one's gonna grow faster, just because it's like right next to the water. Oh wait, look, some of the seeds are already growing. That's awesome. So as you can see, this one's slightly taller than the other ones. So uh, can I just put one here? Well, that was the last of my seeds. I'm just gonna go to bed and wait for the arrival of my plants. Oh, I can smell those cookies now.
Okay. So let's see. It's morning time. I don't know why the hell these animals are in my house. I think it's because of all the grass that I have. I didn't put no stone here yet, but these guys are going to be dead soon. Mark my words. Anyways, let's go back to our greenhouse and check and see what do we have. I think it's been about two days since I checked. I'm mad that sheep jumped with me. Is that sheep jumping with me? Ah, uh, okay. I thought we was like jumping, jumping intertwined or something. Oh, snap. Holy crap, look at all this wheat. Dude, this is amazing. Okay, so now that we have all of our wheat, once you have all of your wheat, all you can do is just hit it and, you know, the wheat will come out. And of course, uh, some seeds will come out too, so you gotta plant some more seeds. I got a lot of crap here. Uh, what can I merge together? Oh, it's wood. Here we go. Yep. And after that, you just go digging. And you can reharvest when, whenever you feel like it. So I'm gonna make me some cookies. It's gonna be delicious. Okay. And one of the tips about farming is uh, when you plant your seeds, make sure there's water around. And I recently put some stone next to this glass and you put the torches. So that way at nighttime, you at least have some light for the, uh, for the wheat to grow at nighttime. And there's also another tip that I can actually show you right now. If you take the seeds, you plant the seed here and you put some bone meal, which you get from like zombies. You crush up the bones and make bone meal and you put it in the wheat and it'll instantly turn into wheat. So for those of you who just can't wait to get cookies or cake, you can try that method. But for me, I don't mind waiting because I got a lot of other stuff to do. So now that I got all my wheat, let's put the rest of these seeds here. I'm going to make me a middle path. That way I can, uh, well, no, nah, screw it. I'll just do it the same way I did last time. Put that hole on that dirt. Yeah, tell them how it's done. Plant some seeds here. And I will wait another, maybe another couple of days. And I can make me some more cookies. That's pretty much the only thing you can do with these uh, wheats is just make cookies, cake, and uh, what's the other thing? Uh, it was it was something else. Oh well, it it'll come to me. But it's it's actually hard to make cookies too because you need uh, you need cocoa beans, and from what I read on the wiki, the only way you can make uh cocoa beans is you have to get them from dungeons chest so you have to hunt in caves and destroy the um you know the zombie spawns what the hell but yeah you have to destroy the dungeons the uh the zombie spawn and you go in the dungeons chest and more than likely there will be cocoa beans in there but so far that's the only way i know how to make them so okay so the next thing we're going to need is some milk to make this cake, you're going to need three buckets, and you're going to have to fill those buckets with milk. So since these animals are, like, having a party in my house for some reason, lucky this isn't, un I mean, this isn't finished yet, but I need to find a cow, and I need to milk it, milk it for all it's worth. And it's funny, because it's like, when I need the animals, they don't want to be here. Like, oh shit, Upside's looking for us. So we gotta go cow hunting. Pretty sure it won't be that hard to find. Okay, so we find ourselves a cow. Hello, Bessie. Don't don't try and fight it. Thank you. Okay, I need another one. Wait, did I even get it? Did okay, I'm right clicking it. Oh, there we go. I think it's, is it filled? Let's try another one. I can't tell if it's filled or not. There we go. So I guess you gotta keep right clicking it until it fills up. Or maybe you gotta, uh, 
right click it a certain amount of times i don't know if any of you guys know just leave a comment this is the first time that i ever like milked a cow in virtual reality okay so we got three buckets of milk let's take these buckets back and we will start feasting ha <laughs> ha Okay, we're back here and let's start crafting. So I. Oh my god, he's freaking. Oh, hold on. Just gotta take care of some. Do some. Do some wet work here. Motherfucker! Take that, piece of shit! Stop coming into my house! I don't know who gave you an invitation to my suite, but you weren't allowed. Okay, sorry about that, audience. I had to take care of some things. Oh, shit. You didn't see that. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and make our cake. We got milk, we have sugar, and we have wheat. So, if I'm doing this correctly, the cake takes a lot of resources, and I don't understand why it has to have this much shit. This is a lot of hard stuff to find, but I guess it's worth it. So, we take the milk... And we put it at the top across. You take your sugar, two sugars, and put them on each side. You take one egg, and then you take the wheat. Can, can you imagine all of this stuff that you need to make a freaking cake? Luckily for us, you can eat the cake more than once. I think it's like maybe five times. I don't know. I only use the cake once. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty clever. It turns the milk bucket back into a regular bucket so i thought it was going to just like take the bucket for some reason that's awesome i saved me some iron so now i have my buckets back and i still have some wheat and with the bread all you do is just put the wheat across and you can only hold one bread at a time so i'm just going to take one for now and for the cookies it's actually hard to find the cookies. Like I said, you have to go into the dungeons. So, uh, yeah, won't be able to do that. But, uh, yeah, we basically have our food ready. Mm. Mm, man, I'll tell you, this is, this is a good cake, man. Mm. Here, have some more. Come on. Eat. You know, you don't want no cake? Okay, I mean... I got something else. I got your mama right here. You can eat that. I know you don't like that, don't you? Yeah, walk away. Scaredy bitch. 